What's crack a lacking candle crew and all those watching who may be new? This is your main man Quistafon coming at you with episode 2 of our Pokemon Crimson Skies Nuzlocke. And in this episode, you guys, we are choosing our starter. This is so exciting. Oh my goodness, you guys turned up on that first episode. It is fantastic. I'm actually gonna put this ear over my wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. These headphones, these headphones are are so loud i'm never using these again in my life do not buy px22s i do not like them at all they they muffle sound so much but my you can probably hear it in here but like these headphones i'm on four volume out of a hundred and they're blasting my ears out and it's so annoying because if i don't have the volume up then my pc will not record the volume for you guys so I'm definitely never using these headphones again. I'm going to sell them, try to get something out of them, but I'm never using them again. That's that. But let's get back to the episode, guys. Enough of that rant. You guys chose our starter. And the race was not close at all. It was it was it was a blowout. At in the first in the first couple hours, there was there was some some leeway for Totodile. Chikorita had a vote, and that's all it ever got. Totodile had a couple, probably like three or four, but Cyndaquil, darn it, got seven or eight votes. And I can't remember off the top of my head, but it was something like that. It was a good amount of votes for Cyndaquil. So you guys have spoken, and Cyndaquil is going to be our starter. So let's go ahead and choose this thing. This little fire rodent Cyndaquil here. Would I like to give a nickname? You bet your bottom dollar I would like to give a nickname. And this nickname... This nickname is beautiful. This name, nickname is perfect... If Ben watches this, he's going to be disappointed because I don't, I'm not choosing his nickname. He wanted me to name it Alibaba from Maji. Maji, Magi, Magi, however you want to pronounce it. But my man, I has hacks, which I'm pretty sure is Harry. Are you, are you Harry? Let me know if you're Harry in the comment section. I'm pretty sure you changed your name from Harry Woodward, I has hacks and stuff like that. But I'm pretty sure this is you. He says, it's got to be Cyndaquil and please name it Zuko or... Demeter, I don't know what that means. I don't know what Demeter is a reference to. Demeter, D-E-M-E-T-E-R. Don't know what that is, but Zuko, I heard that name. It was like one of the first names that ever came up, and I just freaking love it, because I myself, no, no, we are not, no, 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 no. Okay, Z, let's get one step at a time. Apparently, I can't multitask. Z-U, Z-U, is it a K? Is it a K? It's a K. Zuko, boom, but... I think this was the first name that I that I read, and it just stuck with me so long. So long. All right, I'll take this one then. Then I'll take this one back. What was his voice? Well, hold on, hold on, hold on. Then I'll take this one back. So now you have both selected your first Pokemon. How does it feel to have your first own companion? I'll tell you what. I'm feeling like testing this, testing out this new companion, Quinn. Let's go now. This is going to be a first battle of many. I challenge you. Do it. Do it, Blake. Do it. You're going to get blown back. Absolutely. Is someone calling me right now? Yep, someone is. Let's let's not do that. Let's not call me in the middle of recording. We're going to we're just going to not do that. Okay. Rival battle Blake sends out the Toto dial, the Toto dial. If you guys didn't realize there're 3D models in this game. Look at this Cyndaquil. Look at this Totodile. Look at the... Hold on. Look at this. Look at this. This is fantastic. This is absolutely beautiful. We're going to fight, and we're going to go for a nice little tackle. Now, since we don't have Pokeballs, the Nuzlocke has not started technically. So, even if we get blown back by this Totodile, who secretly carries Water Gun, then we're good to go. We can just go back to Mom, heal up, and do what we got to do. But it looks like we're going to... Unless we get a really bad min roll... It looks like we're going to take this thing out. Going to go for a scratch. Don't crit us and we're good. Okay. This is going to be some good experience. You always got to take out the first Mon because it gets you a level. It always gets you a level. See? Level. Ember? Smoke screen. Okay. That's fine. Defeated rival battle Blake. Getting $500. Stop. Okay, phone. Okay, phone. Hold on. Phone? You're going to go on silent. You know what? I thought maybe, you know, if something important happens, I'll have it on vibrate. No, silent. That battle was really something else, wasn't it, Quinn? 
That was a great battle you two demonstrated. I am truly impressed by how you two both learned quickly. I read that incorrectly. Now, I want to tell you more about the future. What? Now, I want to tell you more about the surprise today. As it isn't fully over yet. I am, I am, I am, I am. I am. You mean this still isn't over? What else could you have to show us? I want to show you a place inside of Dingy, Dingy? Dingy Forest, which is one of the reasons why I've decided to give you both a Pokemon. There are too many wild Pokemon to go into Dingy Forest without one of your own. It would be dangerous. Anyways, I'm heading into Dingy Forest. You will both find me in there if you travel deep enough. Alright, so we're going into the Dingy Forest because Gramps got a surprise. Wow, this is getting crazy. That was fast and sudden of an old geezer like him. Wow. I'm heading in there to see what this is all about. So, disclaimer, it's like 8 o'clock. Somehow it's still bright outside because, you know, times and stuff. Usually, I, I never know what time zone, we're not, not what time zone, what time, like, you know, daylight savings time, stuff like that. I never know what we're in. If we're in, if we're in spring forward, if we're in fall back, I have no clue. But this music gets me feeling some type of way. Gets me feeling some type of way, but that's why I'm a little parched, a little, a little of all of everything. Cause I just worked an eight hour shift and then got home, ate a little bit, changed a little bit and, uh, came over here. So I'm going to get a sip of water cause my throat is killing me. I've been talking all day, but the job at Best Buy is going fantastic. Uh, I've had a week of training. If you didn't see my little video thing that I uploaded uh it should be yesterday because this should go up on Saturday um <clears throat> uh but I had a 40 hour work week I worked 10 to 6 Monday through Friday so that's why I couldn't record this week um so that was good for work bad for recording obviously but you got to do what you got to do and I am definitely enjoying working at Best Buy a lot more than I was at Chick-fil-a I'll meet you further up ahead, Quinn. Just be prepared to battle some wild Pokemon. Oh, I'm prepared. My Cindy Quill is going to have Ember before the, before the time I get there. But uh, in this episode, we're just kind of going to go through. This is probably still going to be... Oh, the nighttime looks so good. Oh, the nighttime looks so good. Oh, 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 oh. That is fantastic. I love it. It's like blue. It's like dark midnight blue. Oh, my. Oh, me. Oh, my. All right, all right, Quinn. Stop, stop, stop. You need to chill. You need to chill, homie. These people are trying to enjoy some ch some some good some good quality content. They're trying to enjoy some crimson skies, and you're just screaming and yelling and making a fool of yourself, which is nowhere near out of the out of the ordinary for you. So, because I talk in the third person all the time. Okay, hold on, hold on. I don't know. I hope you guys don't hear it, but there's a clicking literally every time I get into a battle. It's like a little click. Little click. Hopefully that's not for you guys too. But we're gonna knock out this Wurmple. Hopefully I'm gonna learn Ember by level eight, because it's, it's weird that I didn't learn at level seven, because I thought it was one of the first moves that you learn. I thought so, but could it be wrong though? I could definitely be wrong. Oh, oh, oh! Question of the day for today, because I like to get those out of the way early on in the video. Um. It's going to be, what is your favorite fan-made Pokemon game? So like I said last episode, this is a fan-made Pokemon game. It is made by someone. I don't know who. Someone. But that someone was a beautiful creator of a game. Um, it's pretty sad that I don't know who it was. Probably should have looked that up and, you know, given them credit. But obviously, I'm off. I'm off my rocker. And... But what is your guys' favorite game? Is it Pokemon Insurgents? Like most people's is. Is it... It could be a... Mm, it can't be a ROM hack, okay? And the reason why is because actually, okay, okay. If it's a, it can be a ROM hack if it's completely remade. So something like Light Platinum would be fine because it's a completely remade game. They just took the data and rearranged it. But if it's something like just a harder version of Fire Red, then I'm not gonna be, I'm not gonna be counting that because that's just they didn't really create that game. They just edited it. This, this person who made Crimson Skies, uh, the Suzerain who made um, Zeta and Omicron and Insurgents, he made that game. And that takes some talent, that, some, that takes some time, that takes some intelligence. Um, so what is your favorite fan-made Pokemon game? Mine um, is going to be Pokemon 
Oh, I can't. I can't decide. I can't decide. Um. Hmm. Ah, I can't decide. What the heck? It's there's so many great games. Like this is a fantastic game. Um, I know Pokemon Phoenix Rising is coming out. I can't really say that's my favorite fan made game because it doesn't come out yet. But that should be fantastic. Um, Pokemon Ethereal Gates is another fantastic one. That's definitely tied for first in my opinion, because just because of how beautiful it is, because of the creativity in the Pokemon, it feels like a Pokemon game, which is obviously what you look for in a fan made game. Wow, what is this place, old man? This place is known as the Creation Temple. It is a place of ancient Pokemon legend. How come we've never heard of this place before or seen it? I can't read. I can't. Deal with me. Just deal with me for this episode and then we'll be back to normal recording schedule and I'll be in my right of mind. Because only people who have Pokemon can come deep enough into the forest to have seen this place. Most people don't go into dingy forests and this place is rather remote. So not many people have seen it or know what it is. I can't wait to see what's inside. I can't either, Blake. Wow. He sure is an eager one. I'll meet you in there, Quirin. 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 You can't roll ends. You can't roll ends. Or cues. There's gotta be an item somewhere. There it is. There it is. There it is. Now we're now we're struggling. We're struggling with the bugs. There was something else I wanted to tell you guys. Some disclaimer of some sort, but I can't remember it. Obviously can't remember it because why would I ever remember something important? Why would I ever remember something important? This place! Just what exactly is this place? This is the legendary creation temple. A place of untold mysteries and secrets. This place is crazy! I've never heard... I have never seen a place like this before. It's like something you would see in a movie. But what kind of untold mysteries and secrets are you talking about, old man? Treat our grandpa with respect! Wait, is he your grandpa? I don't think he's your grandpa. I think he's just an old man to you. So never mind, never mind. You're good, you're good. It's okay, it's okay. I will tell you what- Okay. I'll, I'll, uh, automatic text. Cool, cool. That Blake kid is always in such a hurry. He's full of energy. He went from like, Russian to Indian. What am I doing? What am I doing? An old man like me can't deal with someone like that. You best teach him to some discipline, Quinn. You're my grandchild after all. There it is. There it is. I can trust you. A strong willed like I am. Anyways, let's go catch up with Blake. There it is. I was like doing some Indian accent. Not to be offensive to Indians, but I wanted this man Russian. Wow. What is with the picture of these strange Pokemon on the walls? And this red thing? Those strange... Wait. I feel like Victor should be saying this. Those strange po paintings on the wall are of legendary creation Pokemon. Let me show you them a bit up close. That was definitely Victor talking. It said Blake though. Am I wrong? It said Blake. I'm pretty sure. Someone vouched for me. These are the crea these are the legendary creation Pokemon. On the left is Dialga, and on the right is Palkia. They are Pokemon with untold abilities that our minds probably couldn't even fathom. This really is something else. And that red thing, thing, is the Crimson Crystal. It is a legendary item with mysterious abilities. The Crimson Crystal? What kind of abilities does it have? It has the ability to activate the legendary Crimson Skies, an event that is said to be the origin of legendary Pokemon. Crimson Skies? I could have sworn I heard a story like that before, but I thought it was just an urban legend. Some people believe it is just an urban legend, but I know the truth. That it is very real. So, this Crimson Crystal has the power to activate the Crimson Skies? Yes. This is this Crimson Crystal. Crystal? Crystal can activate the Crimson Skies. And this door here, nobody knows for sure how exactly it opens. But most people that think that the Crimson Skies need to be activated for the door to open. I have never been past this point. This is incredible. How long has this place been here? It has been here for long enough for us to find out about it. What was that? Automat automatic task. That was me. We're here to take something that we need. This nice, big, shiny, red, crimson crystal. Oh no, you both have to stop them right now. They are thieves. Quick, Quinn, let's stop them. Let's go. Grunts, I need you to hold them off while I escape with this here crystal. Man, 
Haha! -ha! Did you really think you would get away or we would let you get to our captain? Let me formally introduce us. We are Team Crimson and we are here for the Crimson Crystal. Our goal is to is Oh, ah, uh, oh, our captain is getting away with the Crimson Crystal and we are going to stall while he does. Prepare to battle! I don't know what that voice was. I have no idea. If someone in the comments knows what that voice fu fuzz. I need to stop talking. I just need to stop talking. Because I can't right now. I can't speak. I can't. I have mispronounced so many words this episode. I have, I have, I have, I have. I have. Oh my. If we were playing Pokemon Sun and Moon, I would be able to check that he had a plus one attack stat by right now. If you were wondering. Or did he raise his defense? He probably used Hardened, so he would have a plus one defense stat. But that is really cool. Another awesome thing is Sun and Moon information got released. And I am I am so hyped. Oh my goodness. I can't wait to put Sun and Moon. I cannot wait, cannot wait, cannot wait. There are so many cool features that it's just... It's just... It's just, it's a good thing you can't smell that. You probably smell great, by the way, if you're wondering. I got that good breath. I hope I do. Someone could probably disagree with that. I brush my teeth. I brush them all the time. I brush my teeth all the time, and all the time I brush my teeth. You're strong, kid. I can't remember what I would. That was definitely, what did I do for his voice? I'm going insane. That was definitely enough time for my boss to escape. I'm sure we'll see you all again soon. Okay, 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 okay. I need water again. My mouth, my mouth, my mouth. I just keep repeating words as if that's commentary. This is why I don't record in the evening. They got away. Hope you guys really don't come here for awesome commentary because that's not what you're getting right now. That is not what you're getting. I can't believe this has happened. The Crimson Crystal has fallen into dark hands. Are they going to activate the Crimson Skies now? Luckily for us, they can't activate them yet. They don't have everything they need. But I thought they only needed the Crimson Crystal. No. The Crimson Crystal is just one of four Crimson items. There are a total of four Crimson items. Oh, I see. So are there more temples? Yes, there are four temples in total. They all represent different aspects of the Crimson Skies. And also, the other Crimson items are safe. I wouldn't know and be notified if something happened to them. Why do you know so much about the Crimson items? When nobody else seems to- wait. When nobody else seems to. It is because the Crimson Items and the Crimson Skies are urban legends, like you said. Most people believe they are only a myth. Only a handful of people, myself included, know the truth about the skies. We do everything we can to protect this truth from the likes of those people. What did they call themselves again? They refer to themselves as Team... Cr <laughs> as Team Crimson. They said they were solely here for the crystal. I wonder how they learned where the whereabouts of this place. And the knowledge of the Crimson items. I need a deep breath. Bear with me, guys. Okay. Okay! Anyways, I'm going to see you both back at my house. After this incident, there is going to be a third surprise. What? I can't even... What? 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 Oh my gosh, my voice. <clears throat> Guess I'll see you at your grandfather's house, Quinn. Guys, I'm I'm terribly sorry. I am from the bottom of my heart so sorry for this awful commentary, this awful voice acting. This is just not the time for an episode with 87 million words of 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 above. All right, all right. So while we're walking back, let's go over the Bible verse of the day. So, Bible verse of the day for this episode, the first Bible verse of the day for this series, which is exciting because I didn't have the first episode because it was like 10 minutes. All we do is choose our starter, la, 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 la. but. Bible verse of the day for this episode is going to be Lamentations, Lamentations 3, 22, and 23. Try saying that 75 times fast. Where's the Bible? I forgot my Bible today. So I have Ben's right here. Nice, fancy, good Bible. Good stuff. But we're already flipped there, so, because I, you know, you know, you gotta be prepared for these moments. Did he paralyze me? Effect spore? Come on. Hopefully I won't get any battles um, while I'm reading this. So it's going to be Lamentations 3, 22, and 23. And that says, 
steadfast love the steadfast love of god never ceases his mercies never come to an end they are new every morning great is your faithfulness so these verses are pretty much your the verses in the bible that kind of there's evies here oh my if i don't get an evie i'm gonna scream if i don't get an evie if i don't give it if i if I don't get an Eevee when I get Pokeballs, I'm going to scream. I'm going to scream, and I'm going to be sad. But let's get back to these. So, let me read that again, because I, 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 I just, I'm going to take these off so I don't have to hear anything. Wow, that's so much better. My ears are sweat. My ears equal sweat. Okay. The steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercies never come to an end. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. Those are some fantastic verses, if you ask me. I personally love verses like this that talk about God's love, talk about his faithfulness, talk about how he never fails us. And the, this verse just completely, completely screams that. And I love this, the second part of the first verse where it says, His mercies never come to an end. So no matter what we do, no matter, no matter how deep into a pit we get, God's mercies never end for us. He always is merciful, he loves us, and he will always care for us. And no matter how much we screw up, he's still going to say, you know what? You can come running back to me because I forgive you. I let my son die on a cross for you. I'm, if, if God were to ever go turn back on his deal, his deal, if he were to ever uh, quit on us, so to speak, he would have done it at the cross. He would have done it when his son was dying on a cross. He's not going to do it when you screw up. He's not going to do it even if you did the most disgusting awful thing you could ever think of he's not going he's not going to turn back on his deal he's still going to forgive you because if you were to ever turn back he it would have been at the cross when his son was dying he wouldn't just let his son die in vain so his mercies are new every morning great is your faithfulness so this these two verses are pretty much just amplifying the grace of god amplifying how much god truly loves me truly loves each and every one of you watching you i'm pointing at you in front of your computer screen in front of your phone in front of your tablet whatever you're watching on god loves you and his mercies will never stop for you and knowing that at least in my mind knowing that gives me so much hope gives me so much peace of mind no matter what happens in my life i can just turn to god and he will always be there for me so that if you take one thing out of this episode today that'll be the thing don't don't take this horrible commentary just 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 soak that in, go rewind it, hear it again, or you can go look up the verse by yourself and and think of what you and just, you know, reflect on what your own what your own thoughts are. But time to put these headphones back on and, and go from uh from Bible mode to awful commentary mode. Because, you know, God works in great ways, and while I was explaining that, no words came out awful. Everything was great. I said things smoothly, but that's just how God works. He's like, you know what, Pokemon? You can have some bad commentary, but you're talking about the Bible. Let me let me kick that up a notch. So uh, that's pretty cool. And when you when you have like a solid when you have a relationship with God in general, and you you get to know God, you read the Bible, you get to learn about Him, you get to know Him, and grow in a relationship with Him. You learn things. You learn things. Um, one, obviously, you're just gonna learn things. But you learn things. You know His character. You get to know how He works, the ways He works, the mysterious, crazy, off, awesome ways that He works. Um, and that's one of those ways when you like another example is worship. If I'm singing a random song in the car and I'm just like, man, I sound awful. I sound awful. My voice is crap. But when I start worshiping, I don't know what happens, but when I'm truly worshiping and my mind is in the right, right mindset, I sound better. And I don't think that's just coincidence. That's God saying, Hey, you're doing good. You're doing good. But let's get back to this commentary. <coughs> I drank all my water. This is going to be awful. There you both are. I am impressed with the way you both dealt with those Team Crimson goons. Now listen, the third surprise is this. I want you both to go on a journey. To stop those Crimson, those Team Crimson characters. But why us? We're just kids. Because you are both, you are both the only people that I can trust. You can trust Blake, man. You can trust Blake in his hair and his in his in his in his in his. I want, uh, people that I trust. And I know both of you can do this. Besides, most people don't believe in the Crimson Skies. But if they don't believe in the Crimson Skies, then why do you? I would rather not go into depth about it right now. 
We have more important matters to worry about. Oh, you know, Victor, Victor opened the Crimson Skies at one point. You know Victor opened the Crimson Skies at one point. That's what that means. He's like, I don't want to go into this now. I don't want to blow your minds. I don't want I don't want you to know that I rode on the back of an Arceus carrying a Ho-Oh. I really... How can you carry a Ho-Oh? Carrying a Shaman? Because that's pocket size. Victor's... Victor is... Victor is... Victor is Victor. Victor is great. I love Victor and his awful Russian voice. First of all, I want you both to have these. Oh, baby! You know what that means. The Nuzlocke has started. I have a bearded face, if you hadn't noticed. We obtained a Poke Gear. We're gonna get a Pokedex? Huh? We're gonna get a Pokedex? With those Pokeballs, you will be able to catch Pokemon. And with the Poke Gear, you will, able to, you will be able to keep contact with each other. Here, both of you as well. Take my number down as well. Ooh, we got Grandpa's number. Grandpa, why didn't we have Grandpa's number to begin with? I guess because we just got a phone, a Poke Gear. Thanks, old man. I will definitely something because I clicked a button. You're welcome, Blake. But I will need to tell you both more about what you will be doing and who you will be meeting. Why didn't we get a Pokedex? You will need to meet the other Temple Guardians. I am one of the Temple Guardians. Ooh, we got a cool grandpa. Temple Guardians? Yes, Blake. The Temple Guardians. They are a collection of people who protect the sacred temples of the Zhao region. We will, we all keep contact with them, one another. And I am already informed of what just happened of the Crimson Crystal. They will be expecting you both. So where do we need to go now? The nearest temple for you both is near Bushback Town. However, it is quite a distance away. Yeah, he definitely turned Indian. Make sure you will keep, train your Pokemon strong <laughs> along the way. I will keep contact with both of you over the Poke Gear. I'm gonna head out, old man. Thanks for all the help. I can't, someone count how many times he calls him old man. And I'll see you on the road, Quinn. Don't forget about you. Don't think I forgot about you just yet. I'd hope not. We're kind of friends and you're in front of me right now. I hope you can do good for this world, Quinn. From what I can tell, it might need a hero soon. I got you. I got the world. I hope my grandchild can follow in my footsteps. Good luck. Oh, and go see your mom before you leave. Running shoes, please. Running shoes, please. I can't stand walking around at a pace like this. This game doesn't have speed up either, so this is as fast as I'm going right now. This is max speed. We are pedal to the metal. Unless we get running shoes right now. <clears throat> I hope the lighting... Ooh, actually our lighting is nice. Our lighting is very nice. Sweet. Well, you better enjoy yourself. Here, take these shoes for the road. We obtained the running shoes. Just hold down shift and you'll blast off. You need to take down my number two. That way I can check up on you. Mom, you're embarrassing me in front of the viewers. Gosh, just let me go. Just let me leave. Don't don't kiss me. No, no, mom. I'm leaving. I'm leaving right now. Stop, stop. No smoochy smooch. Oh, can I run? Can I run? Woo, baby. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So we're running about 30 minutes right now, which is what I want to keep these episodes, if not 20 to 30 minutes. But we just got Pokeballs. And I got my eye on an Eevee. We just got Pokeballs, and I got my eye on an Eevee. We never even checked out Zuko's stuff. You know, he probably just has Blaze, but Naughty Nature, which means that is minus special offense plus attack. Not the best for a Typhlosion. Not the best at all, but I guess he could be a mixed attacker. I guess. Does this? Is there any way to show IVs on this? That'd be great. That'd be cool. Probably not. Nope, I don't think so. Some fan-made games do that, which is crazy cool. But let's see what we can get in here. Oh, please be an Eevee. Eevee, come to me. Shroomish! I'll take a Shroomish. I'll take a Shroomish. Okay, I am actually okay with this. Because I will take a Shroomish over a Wurmple. Any day of the week. You come at me with a deal and you say Shroomish or Wurmple, I go Shroomish. All day, every day. And I'm not, you better believe I am not risking a crit. There's no way. There's zero, whoa, this looks cool. Oh, this looks, it's beautiful. This game is beautiful. If you guys aren't playing this right now, please go play it. Go play it along with me. I forgot to put the link in the description of the last episode because, you know, I'm a human and I forget things. But uh, it should be in the link of, in the description of this episode, hopefully. If not, someone scream at me in the comment section. But let's see if we can catch the Shroomish. Hey! Shroomish! 
Okay, okay. It looks so cool. I can't get over it. Like, the, what is it called? The interface something? It looks great. Whatever it is, it looks great. What do we call a male shroomish? Um, okay. This has been a long shroomish name for me. And I forgot to name, or I forgot to go uh, look at his, um, the description. But in the description somewhere, it, it says shroomish like to, you know, collect compost or like be in compost. So for the past year or so, I've been naming my shroomishes compost. And I really like that name. I don't know why. I just do. So we got compost the shroomish. Beautiful. You gain experience after catching a mon. Beautiful. Beautiful. Let's check this bad boy out. Let's check this bad boy out. We got two beautiful, beautiful men up in this up in this team. Fire type and a grass type. Two key key whoa, what quiet nature. Oh, that's minus speed. Plus special attack, that's awful. That's actually awful. Because Breloom's a physical attacker to begin with. You have Poison Heal! That is great. Please find a Toxic Orb at some point. Please. I would love that. So, not the best nature. Tackle and Absorb. Meh. But we have ourselves a possible Breloom, which is awesome. Breloom's one of my, easily one of my favorite third gem mons. But, before we head on to Route 1, I'm going to wrap this episode up, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you are new to the channel, if you stuck around this long, you guys are the greatest people ever. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Make sure to leave a like if you liked it. Answer the comment question of the day, which was, what is your favorite family Pokemon game? And I will see you in the next episode. Have a great day, guys. And remember, light up the night.